Hi guys, Ryu here with another bit for Blender. In this one, I want to show you why I prefer to use hardened normals over weighted normals recently, okay? Just a quick info before we start, guys. Blender Bros is a patron, so if you would like to support us over there, there is a link in the video description. And many thanks to every single person on Patreon right now. You guys rock. Now let's let's drop a cube in here and let's bevel this, okay? Now when I try to boolean this, you'll see that we're gonna have these shading problems, right? And the reason for it is that uh, Auto Smooth Bevel uh, Blender Auto Smooth starts incorporating every single face into the calculation of Auto Smooth, right? So the big faces are actually being used or taken into consideration when the bevel is concerned. Okay, so they're not excluded. Now what Weighted Normal does? So when I go to Hard Ops and press Alt on Sharpen and add Weighted Normals to the end of the stack, right? Every single big face, you know, just gets flexed. And the reason for it is that it simply gets removed from the calculation by simply flexing the normals. So like a little lines pointing away from the verse, I can show them to you here, right? These are normals, okay? So they're gonna get uh, flexed and gonna become perpendicular to the face surface. And it's gonna just become perfectly flat, okay? So the only curvature is just to bevel, okay? That's what weighted normal does. now. Hardened normals is a bit different, okay? Because what hardened normal does is actually ripping the bevel off from the mesh, kind of virtually, uh, hence the, the face becomes unaffected because if I, you know, drop a bevel in here and go to edge mode and I'm gonna press, you know, shift V uh, to, I mean V, sorry, not shift V, to rip this face apart, right, from this mesh, you can see that it literally got removed from the calculation of the smoothness, right, of the auto smooth. So that's what's happening, right? Now, the problem with weighted normals is that, one, you need to add it to every single mesh, so every single object, because you can't add it on mass, meaning to many objects at the same time. At least I don't know about a method that can do it for you. So you need to add it to every single object in your scene, right? Two, if you really want to get it properly, you know, flat, yeah, so you need to change bevel settings to something like um, face strength mode to affect it, and then simply, you know, increase weight to 100 and, and change the face influence. That's a lot of work. Now, a more efficient way of doing it, in my opinion, right, would be to, uh, where is it, here, would be to go with hardened normals. Now, if you're using hard ops, which you should, and if you don't, there are links in the video description to hard ops and box cutter and tons of other add-ons that I'm personally using and recommending, because I don't recommend anything that I don't use every day. So if you're using hard ops, you go to your control tilde uh, menu and you can here switch on hardened normals as a permanent feature now what it will do it will introduce hardened normals with every single bevel that you add to a to a surface right so if i go to a bevel settings now you can see that uh, my bevel is app applied with hardened normals right perfect so now if i'm gonna cut this mesh you can see that i have no shading issues whatsoever it's just perfectly flat okay it's just like as if you were running weighted normals. The good thing about it is that, right, I can add, you know, I can add this uh, this bevel very easily to a new object, okay, with with literally one click. So I'm adding bevel and weighted normals, sort well, not weighted normals, but harder normals, with one, one movement on my mouse. So I'm saving a lot of time by doing so, okay. In addition to all this, if I have multiple objects, right, I'm going to select them all. Okay, I can add bevel to all of them at the same time, meaning I'm adding bevel to every single object and harder normals to every single object in a scene with one click. So let that sink in, yeah, how fast this is. So this is why I'm actually really fond of uh, harder normals recently. And also it works with mid, mid poly, uh, with mid poly beveling, meaning I can drop this bevel to one segment, okay? So you see one segment? and uh, no problem so at the moment if i apply this bevel right so i got one segment going in here like if i'm going to apply this you'll see i just only have two edges right which is actually the way you want to um, um, run bevels if you're not baking bevels uh, for your game assets so you know if you want to go mid poly beveling this is the way to do this and you can do it with weight normals as well but you can do it with, you can do it with harder normals too and you know you just save yourself a lot of time. So anyway, hope it helps you guys out. And like I said, links in the video description. So if you want to buy some add-ons, 
go through the links you're gonna help me as well thanks for watching catch you next video